When can we move in? Well, here we are. Number five, Highcroft Court. After you. Thanks. Thanks. This is the hall, as you can see. There's a big mirror on the wall. And a telephone over there, too. Yeah, is the telephone working? Oh, yes. You only pay for the calls you make. Now, through here to the left... This is the lounge. There's a television and... Look, Anna! What a big sofa! It's huge! Oh, yes. It's new, too. And if you go through that door in front of you, that's the dining room. Uh, with a nice big table and six chairs. Great. We can have friends for dinner. <laughs> and it has two windows, so it's very light in here, too. Now, if we go back into the lounge and then left, on the left here is the bathroom. Hmm. It's a bit small. Yes, but the shower and toilet are both new. And um, opposite, uh, just here, we have the kitchen. It's a little bigger. Hmm. Is that a washing machine? Yes. And there's a dishwasher, too, um, over there. Well, that's useful. And finally, this is the bedroom. Oh, yes. Th this is lovely. I like the big wardrobe. There's a desk here, too, so I can study. You, Carlos, study. <laughs> <laughs> it's very comfortable. Again, there are two big windows here, so there's lots of light. Huh. What do you think, Carlos? Mm, I think it's okay. How much? £550 a month, including bills. Hmm. £550. So, when can we move in? But it says here. Can I help you? Yes, you can actually. We came back from Bermuda last night. This is the brochure of the holiday you sold us. Oh, yes. Did you have a nice time? No, we didn't. My wife and I are both very angry. Oh, dear. What was the problem? Well, to start with, we had to pay £20 extra each for airport tax. But it says here in the brochure, airport tax is included. Oh, yes. So it does. And our room didn't have a sea view. We paid extra for a sea view, but all we got was a view of the car park at the back of the hotel. Oh dear, this is very serious. I think we should fill out a complaint form. Now, what are your names? It's Mr and Mrs Caldwell. That's C-A-L-D-W-E-L-L. Okay. And the holiday was in Bermuda? Yes. Two weeks from the 10th to the 24th of February. 10th to 24th of February. And today is the 25th. Okay. Do you have your customer number? It's here on the receipt. DW83247. Oh, yes. OK. Now, you had to pay £20 each for airport tax. And the hotel room had no sea view. Yeah, and you can add that the food in the hotel was terrible. I couldn't eat a thing. We lived on sandwiches, didn't we, darling? Yes, I lost a kilo in weight. Oh, so the food in the hotel was terrible. Oh, dear. Well, what are you going to do about it? I'll send this complaint to our head office and I'll phone you when I get a reply. Can I have your telephone number? It's Walton 893 
two double four three. Walton, eight nine three, two double four three. Okay. Well, I'm very sorry about this. It was an awful experience. We want our money back. I'll see what I can do. Our apologies once again. Goodbye. Goodbye. Another one for the bin. That sounds delicious. Table for two, sir. Yes, please. Can I get you any drinks? Two glasses of water, please, and the menu. We have a standard set lunch menu. Here you are. There are three courses. You can choose one dish for each course. Thank, Thank you. you. Here is your water. Have you decided what to order? Mm, it all looks so good. Mm. What is the pork satay exactly? <laughs> it's pieces of pork in a peanut butter sauce. Um, quite sweet. Oh. It's very tasty. That sounds delicious. I'll have that to start with. Very good. One pork satay. And for you, sir? Are the spring rolls very spicy? Not too spicy, sir, no. But they come with a sweet chilli sauce. Mm. I think I'll have the chicken and coconut soup, thanks. Fine. And what would you like for main course, madam? Um, what's the difference between the red curry and the green curry? The red curry is made from red chilies, so it's a bit hotter. The green curry is milder and more creamy. Oh, uh, green prawn curry for me then, thanks. And the same for me. And for dessert, I'll have the fruit salad. And I'll have the fried banana, thanks. Very good, madam. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Part two. Well, I couldn't eat another thing. That fruit salad was great. Yes, it looked really fresh. How about your fried banana? You haven't eaten much. Mm, it's a bit too sweet for my taste. That's a shame. The pork satay was fantastic, though. And the green curry was pretty good, too. I enjoyed the meal. So did I. The best part for me was the soup. I agree the green curry was okay, but it wasn't anything special. Mm. Anyway, overall, it was worth it. I'll be coming here again, that's for sure. Me too. Perhaps we should make this a regular thing, Brian. Every Friday. Hmm. That sounds like a nice idea, Tracy. Why not? Was everything all right with your meal? Great, Great thanks. thanks. Would you like any coffees or anything? No, thanks. Just the bill. We must get back to work. Your name, please. Hello, Cambridge Language College. Oh, yes, hello. I'd like to attend one of your evening classes. Oh, yes. Which class are you interested in? English. It's course 139. I see. Course 139 is for intermediate students. Is that the course you want? Yes, it is. Intermediate. Right. Do you want the short course or the long course? Uh, the long course, please. That's 12 weeks, isn't it? Yes. Now I need to take some personal details first. Your name, please. Silva. Silver's your surname, isn't it? Yes. Can you spell that for me? Yes. S I L V A. Thank you. And your first name? Maria. Maria. Thank you. Oh, uh, what's your nationality? I'm Mexican. I'm a student at university in Mexico City. I'm here for the summer. I see. So you speak Spanish and any other languages? No, just Spanish and a little English. And you're a student. And your date of birth? My date? Oh, 
the 11th of October, 1983. 11th of October, 1983. Where are you staying in Cambridge? Sorry? What's your address here? Oh, it's 24 Cherry Road. The postcode is CB15AW. Okay. Now then, Maria, do you have a telephone number? Yes. It's 742980. 742-980. That's fine. The next intermediate English long course starts on Monday at 7 p.m. Treasure Hunt Okay, let's open this and start. Quick, read the first clue. Go to the clock and turn left. Take the first right and I'm out of sight. What? Come the... on! There's the clock! Straight ahead! Let's go! Okay, here's the clock. What's next? Um, and turn... Uh, and and uh, turn left. Take the first right. Ah, over there! Come on! Okay, here we are. And, and I'm out of sight. What am I? Hmm. Uh, oh, look! Over there, next to the supermarket, there's an opticians. Out of sight must mean opticians. That's the answer for number one. Quick, write it down. Okay, number one. Opticians. Okay. Clue number two. Uh, on the corner, on the left, what do you see? Is it time for tea? What's on... Over there, on the corner, on the left? It's a cafe. Time for tea. Okay. A right cafe here. Next. Uh, number three. Go back, find the school, turn left, and try to look cool. Hmm. Come on then. Back to the school. There's the school again, straight in front of us. The turn left and uh, try to look cool. Okay, so we go left uh, down here. Ah, o over there. Th there's a clothes shop. Try to look cool. W what do you think? Okay, write it then. Clothes shop. What's clue number four? Let's see. Clue number four. Go to the end and round the bend. On your left, there's a place to send. I guess we keep going up here then. Come on. Okay. So this is the bend. Uh, let me see that. On your left, there's a place to send. That must be the post office, over there, on the left. Brilliant! Well done! Okay, now for the last clue. Go through the park and pass the station. Here's where to look if you want information. Through the park. Okay, up there. Let's go. Okay, and... Uh, Past the station must mean we go past the train station. Right. Keep going. I think we're going to win. The last bit says, here's where to look if you want information. Well, where's that then? Uh, oh, of course. It's the library. Over there on the right. That's it! Number five. Library. That's it! Quick, let's go back to the school and see if we're the first. Yeah, come on. I wonder what the treasure will be. <laughs> oh. 
Excuse me, I'm looking for a bag. Certainly, madam. Um, this bag is very popular. It opens at the top here, like this, and has a nice pattern around the middle. Hmm. Do you have a smaller one? No, it's only in this size, but it's very easy to carry. I see. Um, uh, I think I'll leave it, thanks. Excuse me, how much is this radio? That one, it's $39.99. Oh dear. But it's a very good radio. It's a cassette player too, as you can see. Hmm. And it's light and portable, easy to carry. Okay. I need a radio to take to the beach, so uh, I'll have it. Oh no, it's raining. Is this umbrella in the sale? No, only those ones over there with the straight handle. How much are they? Seven pounds fifty. That's half price. It's a bit small. Yes, but it can fit in your bag. Hmm. Okay, I'll take this one. 